I spoke with Town & Gun Players President Brain Anderson and retired ACCPD Major Clarence Holloman, who led the manhunt for Zirkin, about the impact the tragedy had on the community and how it came together in the aftermath. Um, next week, on April the 25th, marks um, the 10th anniversary of the tragedy. Uh, um, there are really no words to say how much it impacted the small community of players here, uh, both the folks that were there and the folks that were not there. I think we will remember that day and where we were and how we heard. I think it will be with us all, always. I've never seen any a homicide like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember it being on the Saturday afternoon, real nice day, sunny, sunny day. Matter of fact, I was getting ready to go to work on a part-time job at the varsity when I received the call that we had had a triple murder at the town and gown theater. So I had to respond to that. And when I got there, there were people everywhere. The scene was very chaotic. Uh, it was just nothing, nothing like it, but anything like I'd ever seen before. And I worked several homicides, and I actually worked a triple before, but it was nothing like that. You know, that's and it, and I could see that it did affect the whole community because the university had a lot of their their guys on patrol with the long rifles and, you know, we ended up getting the DEA, the uh, GBI, the FBI, all of those departments ended up coming down here helping us out with it. <clears throat> we found that it was just like a, a, a quiet hush just went over the whole area, over the whole town. Uh, and the fact that uh, where he was found just made it a little bit more profound to me. The fact that he had actually dug an elaborate grave out of Cleveland Road and found some old, uh, like an old washing machine door, uh, parts from the old washing machine. He actually had dug the grave and got actually got in the grave with the gun and some kind of way he managed to pull uh, all these things over himself, like the, the, the uh, washing machine door. And that's where he took his own life. And like I said, I, I think I really think that the fact that he did that, that that was supposed to be a legacy for him. That every year during the anniversary or how many every years that his name would come up as the never being found. Nobody never knew where he was and where is George Lincoln type thing, you know. And that, that's that's. In my opinion, that's what I think that he meant for it to be. Town and County is very special. It's a very special place. The folks that come together here throughout the years and the ones that hopefully will come behind, we're all here to make art. And um, that's what Tom and Marie and Ben would definitely want us to keep doing. They were all at the top of their game, and I definitely think that the example that they set is one that set, set a bar that we are all endeavoring to maintain. Like I said, it, it was a hush just went over the community. Uh, I was exhausted uh, from Seemed like a, a lot of weight was lifted off my shoulder once we located him and, and managed to get everything settled. But it was, but it was definitely something different that I had never experienced before, and hope not to experience again. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, I'm just glad we were able to resolve things for the family. You know, as as in any homicide. Uh, when you when you work homicides, family is always in the forefront of your mind. As to try to make things right for them, make things better for them, even though you can't bring the person back that you know that was that was murdered or killed. You know, it, it, 
kind of gives you a great feeling that you can actually help them out. And just hope that, pray that things go along with, uh, with them over the years and make things a lot better than their life. We're very lucky that all our friends and patrons and all the supporters and donors and past and um, current members, we all kind of came together in a rather amazing way. And there wasn't much pause in the production. We kept on, in other words, that season, which was scheduled to begin, there was maybe a week or so, but then we, we went on with that season. We found a different director for that show and um, we kept going. And we're very proud of the fact that we are about to embark upon our 67th season. We're about to pick the show. Every year I put out a table. It's a table we use in a lot of productions. We call it the table. With a vase of flowers, just as a sort of marker of the day in case anyone comes by and just wants to take a minute. But this year, just so you know, Someone will be here, the theater will be open all day, and um, even though there won't be any kind of an event or anything to mark the 10th anniversary, we definitely want anyone that needs to come by and have a moment um, to come and enjoy the garden. That'll be from 10 to 6 on the 25th.